Hey everybody, welcome back. So I'm out of my tarp shelter here again, high in the Rocky Mountains of Alberta. And I thought I'd do a little bit of a saw comparison this morning. The lighting's a little bit funky because it's just, uh, I don't know, about 9.30. Sun is coming through the trees, but we'll make the best of it. So on this trip out, I brought a couple of different saws with me. Uh, some that you've seen me use in videos before. And I got a new one that I'm going to try out this time. If you looked at some of my other videos, uh, you've, seen, uh, you've seen this guy here before. And I'll try and get the, the light on that. What this is, is a regular Irwin coarse crosscut carpentry saw. Uh, the type of thing that you'd find at Lowe's or Home Depot. This one's a little bit different. Uh, it's got some more aggressive teeth on it. Uh, so it, it cuts through, uh, let's say, six, seven inch logs like this really well <clears throat> but of course uh you know this is uh um the, the the age of the internet youtube and all the rage is the the silky saw so of course we got the katana boy big boy uh lots of different options there uh i went down to my local local dealer here in calgary and picked up this one this is the the sugoi 420 so 420 millimeters and if memory serves, that's somewhere around 16 and a half inches. So today I'm going to put my, my, my 20 inch Irwin up against the 16 and a half inch Silky. Now, just to be fair, uh, this is a brand new Silky. Uh, so I went out and bought a, a brand new Irwin. So I cut a little bit of firewood on this one last night, but it's basically a new, new blade. When you compare the two blades side by side, uh, by the time you take into account the handle here, uh, I'm, I'm calling these both roughly 16 and a half inch saws. So let's make a first cut into this log here. Uh, the, uh, the thin end of the log is down at the other end. So I'm going to make the first cut with Irwin here. Uh, and give a little bit of an advantage to, sil to Silky because it's going to be a little thinner on the next cut down. Just going to cut off an inch or so and we'll see how quickly we can get through this. So I haven't got a stopwatch or anything so you guys will have to be the judge. Okay, so that's the cut with the Irwin. <clears throat> Brand new blade, so a little bit of binding there. It's pretty grabby. So I didn't feel like I could push quite as hard as I, as I would a couple hours into things. But uh, overall, pretty, pretty smooth cut on that. Uh, pretty straight cut. We can cut, you know, almost whatever thickness we want out of that. Uh, push motion on the, on the Irwin. Let's go over to the Silky and see how we do with that one. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. So like I said, I didn't have a stopwatch on that, so you guys will have to tell me which one was faster. Um, but I gotta tell you, completely different motion on this one. Pulling, a different set of muscles. So uh, something I'm, I'm not used to. One cut and I'm feeling it in my, I think that's your tricep there. So, so yeah, you know, very smooth cut, straight cut. I, I think it cut fairly quickly. Uh, I had to kind of remember to go to the full tip of the saw uh, to get every little bit of uh, cut out of it. I think that's where the magic happens, right at this curve point here. So, uh, so overall, um, you know, I can see why there's a little bit of excitement about this. Uh, but for me, an old guy uh, who's used to pushing instead of pulling, uh, I guess, you know, to sum up, if there's a, a saw that, you know, one saw I'm going to bring out with me next time, uh, at this point, it's it's probably going to be my Irwin. Um, I'm going to bring them both out for the next uh, few trips. Try and work with this one a little bit more. Uh, you know, maybe a, whatever seven inch log like that isn't what this saw is, is really uh, optimally designed for. So we're going to use it from, for some different things. i got to tell you one other little thing. Uh, my Irwin cost me $40. This saw here cost me three times that. So, so far, I'm not seeing three times the value, but that's just me. So that's my test here for today. Uh, you know, give me your comments. Let me know what you think. If you think my technique sucks, uh, I'm, I'm happy to, you know, to, to hear about that too. So uh, give me a little bit of, you know, feedback, your experience. Uh, and in the meantime, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take it easy.